The story of how Mr. Ibu died broke and lonely despite having made several millions is really pathetic. Besides making millions from several movie roles, Mr. Ibu was a Glow ambassador for many years and had a multi-million Naira contract with them. On top of that, he was paid heavily by the APC to endorse Tinubu in 2021 for the 2023 presidential elections. It is estimated Mr. Ibu made well over 500 million Naira over a lucrative 15-year period as an actor. Mr. Ibu encountered challenges that he may have unintentionally brought upon himself. Mr. Ibu ignored the dangers of polygamy and allegedly married five times to five different women and each marriage was filled with pain and regrets. He said his fifth marriage was the worst to the extent he stopped eating his wife's food for fear of being poisoned. On top of that, one of his wives ran away with his entire life savings and ruined him forever. These issues, compounded by Mr. Ibu's ill health, left him completely broke. Mr. Ibu was seen appealing to the public soliciting for funds to prevent one of his legs from getting amputated. Aki and Popo faced public criticism following Mr. Ibu's death because the duo were seen promoting their movies in Tanzania and did not make a public statement, despite having shared the stage with Mr. Ibu in numerous films. Mr. Amichi is another tragic example of a millionaire Nigerian actor who, just a few years ago, was at the pinnacle of his career, enjoying the luxury of rejecting movie roles at will. Sadly, he passed away in penury. Given his popularity as an A-list movie actor he felt he would always get movie roles, little did he know a fetal accident will alter his life forever. In 2016, it was reported that Mr. Amici was battling diabetes and lost significant weight. He reportedly slumped while at a movie set and suffered paralysis and lost the use of his legs. This incident unexpectedly ended Amici's movie career and left him with neither sufficient savings or pension to fall back on. On the 18th of March, he appealed to the public for help in securing funds to facilitate his kidney transplant in India. Sadly, he passed away before the fundraiser was completed. Mr. Ina was a Nollywood legend who was greatly loved for the fatherly and elder roles he acted in movies but what many do not know is that this distinguished actor died a really painful death and broke. The actor was said to have sustained an injury sometime in 2011 and due to lack of proper care, it became infected and degenerated to a sore. His condition was made worse by the fact that he was suffering from diabetes, the actor was admitted at Park Lane Hospital, Enugu for three months where doctors eventually made the decision to amputate the affected leg to prevent the infection from spreading to other parts of his body. In the early 2000s Muna Obikwi was the darling boy of Nollywood. His handsome face and masculine physique made him stand out in the industry. He lived a private life and unknown to many, he was a chronic chain smoker and alcoholic. He tragically lost his two parents in a car accident as a young man and narrowly escaped being in the car himself. He took to alcoholism to cure his depression. It is reported that even when Muna went to the north to shoot movies, he would secretly find a place to find cigarettes and alcohol. He could drink an entire ocean but when once he's called upon by the director to deliver he'll immediately get into action. Sadly his kidneys and liver were badly damaged and only stopped smoking and drinking on his deathbed. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 36 and left behind a beautiful wife and two children. Prince Uche Prince Uche, popular Nollywood actor died after a protracted battle with diabetes and kidney ailment. The actor died just two days before his scheduled trip to India for surgery. The actor's fundraising team confirmed that his death on Wednesday evening was due to complications from diabetes and a kidney-related ailment. The actor has been bedridden for several months and was in dire need of an urgent kidney transplant and eye surgery. He had been ill for eight years. He was down with high blood pressure, diabetes and kidney failure. He also needed to undergo an urgent kidney transplant and eye surgery in India, which cost about N15 million. The saddest thing about Prince's death is the fact that when his ailment became complicated his wife who's a seamstress drove him out of the house and complained she could no longer provide for him. He died broke and sad. Ernest Asuzu
In 2015, Daily Independent reported that Asuzu was seen begging at ShopRite in Suralia, Lagos. The actor, who was still recovering from a stroke at the time was limping while he begged for money to eat. In 2016, the actor was gifted with a brand new jeep and cash to start afresh by Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufin. The Prophet gave him a brand new jeep worth N3.5M and 1.5 million naira to start up a new life. In a 2017 interview with Linda Ekeji blog, the actor said he was abandoned by the members of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, who were aware of his situation. Ernest Asuzu, until his ailment, was an active actor in Nollywood. He is popular for movies such as Accidental Discharge, Royal Wedding, Chain Reaction, and Dirty Game. Sidikat Odukonwi Known by fans and colleagues as Aebo Oko, the veteran actress battled with her health for years before she died. Rumors of her death first surfaced in 2021 and 2022. However, her daughter finally confirmed her passing on Thursday, June 29, 2023. She is popular for her roles in Yoruba language movies like Okobo Daimeji, Idono Okan, and Ayata. It is reported that when she first got sick and suffered a stroke she managed the ailment on her own and didn't disclose it to the public. She became very broke and could no longer finance her hospital bills. It was at this point, she reached out to the public and received donations from a number of her colleagues in the industry. Boba Sola Veteran comedian and actor, Moses Olaya, popularly known as Boba Sola, had made a heartfelt plea for financial assistance from Nigerians for his health care before his passing. Known for his iconic roles in films such as Aura Muru, Ora Agbe, Diamond, and Anna, Boba Sola needed substantial funds for medical treatment abroad. His first son, Reverend Deli Adejimo, revealed that the elderly entertainer's financial situation had deteriorated significantly. He explained that all of Boba Sola's business investments had been adversely affected by unfortunate circumstances and poor management, leaving the beloved comedian in dire need of help. Despite his legendary status and immense contribution to the Nigerian entertainment industry, Boba Sola faced immense challenges in his later years, highlighting the often overlooked struggles of veteran actors. Uche Adeputa In 2007, Uche Adeputa, although still alive, was arrested for trafficking drugs and was jailed for two years and three weeks. In an interview with Broadway TV, the actor revealed that his financial situation led him into trafficking. According to him, he thought it would change his condition since he wasn't getting any substantial movie roles at the time and couldn't afford to feed or house his family. Since his release from jail, the actor has featured in successful productions such as Husbands of Lagos, Last Flight to Abuja, among others.